Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's yoga practice, I'm gonna take you through some options that are really great ways to use a bolster. So don't worry if you don't have a bolster, you can use a sofa cushion, you can roll up a blanket into like a sausage shape, you can even use a yoga mat rolled up and then cover it in a blanket. I find that was quite a nice way before I got this. But if you do feel like treating yourself, this one is from Ecotech. It's their organic cotton one and it's filled with buckwheat. So it's very heavy and it like molds to the shape of your body. Also, the uh, cover is removable and you can just wash it in the washing machine. So yeah, if it gets a bit grubby, like with your forehead and stuff, like it's a really good one to keep clean. I also have a 10% off discount code. The code is HMF Yoga, and I'll leave all the details down below. But I'm just gonna take you through some of my favorite, favorite poses to do with this bolster. So the first one you can, you see quite common in classes is using it long ways along your spine. So placing it like this, butting up that uh, lower bit to your lower back and then relaxing all the way back. Now for some of us, this is quite intense. So you can always pop a pillow or like a blanket underneath your head so it becomes less intense. And with this one, you can like totally do whatever you want with your legs. So if you feel like hip opening one day, if you feel like a little bit less intensity, maybe soles of the feet on the mat. And it just gives you an awesome opening through the front of the body. And it's just a nice way to kind of open up through your lower back as well. Like it's a really nice back bend because you're supported by your bolster. So that's a nice one to like hang out in for a few minutes or like even like 10 minutes if you want. Another back bend is using the bolster this way and you wanna place it like on the lower part of your shoulder blade. So like ladies where your bra strap would be. So, and guys like the bottom, like the tip of your shoulder blade. So you kind of have to like roll it into place. And then this one, you can let your head drop all the way back. Now this really opens up through your throat, but if you're not into that so much, again, you can use a meditation cushion or like a cushion underneath your head, just so your head is less low but you still get that nice opening. And as usual, you can have your hands like wherever you want. I quite like mine a little bit higher up. Maybe the legs straighten out. Oh, and it just feels so nice to be supported in this pose. And you feel a gorgeous opening through that front side of the body, which is quite difficult to get when you're in a more kind of yang posture. So these are very yin and like restorative. Cool, the next one is using it generally for forward fold. So for example, if you're in a wide leg forward fold, and for a lot of us, wide leg forward fold is quite difficult to come far forward. So you can always, this one's good because it kind of stands up on its own quite easily. Um, you can use it on its end like this and then rest your forehead onto it so your head and your shoulders can relax but you're still getting that lovely opening through your hips and then as you find a little bit more space through the hips you can bring it down to lower levels or you know use uh, bricks or something to prop it up and then take the bricks away until you're all the way down um, also for like uh, more narrow forward folds you can rest it onto your legs like this maybe bring it up onto your tummy and then allow yourself to come on forwards like this. And it just gives a nice like weight to the legs. I feel like it really kind of weights down that lower half and that upper body can just relax somewhere. Again, you could use it like this as well with this narrow legged one. The next one is a way to use the bolster to intensify a pose. So we're gonna come into dragon and we're gonna place the back knee on the bolster. Actually, I will demonstrate it from this side. So bringing one knee to the bolster. It also acts as really nice padding. Cool, and then you're gonna step your other foot forwards. Now, this might be enough. You can see that it creates just a little bit of space through the front of this hip. Now, if you're quite flexy and you do want to intensify your dra dragon, you can come down onto the hands. Maybe even some of us, I don't know if I've uh, 
actually <laughs> got the space today. Maybe even coming down to your forearms or onto a block. And this just creates a really nice padding for that back knee and you really open out through your hamstring here and into that hip a little bit more. So it's a nice option for dragon, particularly if you find it's hard for your back leg to relax. So that's a nice option, but it does intensify the pose for that one. So yeah, just be mindful of that. The next one is using it when we're lying on our front. So you want to aim for your belly button. So you want your belly button like bang in the center of the bolster. Relax your legs. You can stretch them out behind you. And then either you can stay on your forearms like this. You can even straighten up the arms and take an assisted back bend like this. This might feel quite nice for some of us. But my favorite thing to do is relax yourself fully over it. Let your hands come to a place where they can support your head. And it just feels so good on your lower back. You really get that like, oh, the lower back can completely release. And it's also a bit of a massage for your tummy as well. Hmm, little reverse Shavasana. I think probably this one is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, so that's another option or another way that you can use a bolster. And then the final way is for a gentle inversion. You can do this up against the wall. I don't really have a wall that I can demonstrate on at the moment. But uh, bring in the bolster underneath the bum. So the best way to come into it is through a bridge. Slide that bolster underneath. Plop your bum onto it. Or oh, this is one as well. You can take this supported back bend. But you can like nestle your bum into it, particularly with this buckwheat one. It really like shapes to you and like holds you in place. And then you can just lengthen the legs up towards the sky. Hands and shoulders can relax wherever. And this one is just so nice for a very gentle inversion. Really calming, really relaxing. I'm gonna hold this for like five minutes or something. Um, just make sure if you do hold it for long that you come out of it nice and slow and be mindful that you don't get a head rush when you come up to seated. But I hope this is giving you some ideas on how to use a yoga bolster. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a little thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.